Hey guys, another video here. I just wanted to give a little update on how life has been going right now. So the other day I got my COVID vaccine. I was feeling really sick. I had lots of body aches, so I had to stay in bed all day. And while I was there, I was just drawing on my iPad and just doodling like I always do. And then it just occurred to me like, why not try to start a sticker shop? So I've been drawing a whole bunch of stickers. I made some Avatar The Last Airbender stickers. I'm still working on some Hamilton stickers and some other little fun stuff. But I just wanted to like film the process of me starting up this little Etsy shop business and seeing how it goes because I know it's going to be a really complicated process and I just want to document everything. So today I'm actually getting my Cricut machine. It's coming in the mail. So I wanted to film the unboxing of that and I also got a new printer and some sticker sheets so I can start testing out the stickers to see if I can really do it and I'm really really excited. This video will be like a little part one of me getting the materials and really testing it out. So I hope you all enjoy! first thing that came into the mail was my Cricut machine and I'm so happy that the Cricut came first because that's what I'm most excited for. <laughs> it's this giant thing. So I thought that I would open it for y'all. This is what it's looking like. I ended up getting the mint one because that's all that was available and you know I would have gotten pink but I still like mint so it's okay. So inside is the sticker mat. Kind of bums that's blue but that's okay. <laughs> I guess this is like instructions on how to use it, I'm guessing. So the other items in the box were just a whole bunch of plugs and outlets and stuff like this. And I've pretty much filled every single plug in this room, so it'll be interesting to find a place to put this. But lastly, there's a pen sort of thing. Now comes the good part. <gasps> Wow. Wow. So this is definitely a color I've never owned before. So that should be new, but it is such a pretty color. Ah, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I also wanted to read some instructions on how to get to work. I did watch a lot of videos about it, but I mean, instructions also help. It came with this little thing that says, let's get started and basically when you open it it gives you some directions on what to do it says to plug in the power of your Cricut machine then get connected which is go to cricut.com slash setup and then they'll walk us through every step I guess I'll go to cricut.com and see how it works Kind of a scary noise. So they said I can do like a test cut thing where I choose a design from here and I can test cut it. You know, honestly, this website's kind of jankety. Like, I keep on clicking on something and it's not loading.
small cardstock. Oh, on the top left corner, the mat. Ooh, now I get to use the mat. Look at that. I guess the cricket was a success. So it's a little later in the day and the printer's here. I ended up getting a Canon inkjet printer. When I was watching videos on recommendations on what printers to use, they said to get an inkjet printer. Those were the best printers to get like most brightest colors. So I just ordered that and it just came in so we'll be unboxing that too and since the sticker paper is coming tomorrow since i do have some stickers already done i just want to print it out on some cardstock paper and see how that works out so let's get into that <laughs> so here is the printer it is a canon printer um inkjet that's all i know but let's unbox it It came with some ink. That's actually nice because I didn't think about needing ink. So now I'm just reading all of the instructions from Canon, the Canon website, of what to do and how to set this up. I don't know. My few experiences with this printer already it's really jankety. Every time I touch it, it sounds like something's cracking and breaking. So, I'm not entirely sure what to think about this printer. It might be returned, but if it prints, that's all I need it to do. Because it was a cheap printer. So it's the end of the day and I guess I've done all that I can do tonight. I think they turned out okay. I just did it on regular paper so of course they're not stickers yet but as a practice it looked like this. I didn't align it perfect. It's still kind of like jankety to the side but maybe I just have to align it better next time so the white um, matches up. But I also noticed that I kind of took off the white off the paper. Since this is a sticker sheet, it should have all been white and I like peeled it off the white, but I think I did it wrong. So I'll have to figure that out because this would only make like individual stickers. Another thing I wanted to figure out was coloring because I think the colors that I used were probably a little too light and I probably need to darken the colors for the printer. But besides that, I think today has been very productive. I've learned a lot about how to use the Cricut and the printer and how to set things up. So I think it turned out pretty good and I think that'll be the end of part one to this video and I'll see you at part two. Bye!